what's going on in the market and why does it matter? So what we see here is a chart that tracks the value of mortgage-backed securities. And real simply, the coupon rate here is 4.5%. So an investor on Wall Street, that is the dividend that they're expecting when they pay the value, the current going value of 101 for this coupon. As the value of the bond increases, then the dividend offered to the investor decreases. That's fundamentally how a bond works. There are a number of environmental effects that cause the value of bonds to go up or go down. For example, typically if the stock market is performing or overperforming, then there's a rally and investors liquidate their bonds and other safer assets so that they can hedge their funds more in the market to ride on the back of that rally. If the stock market is falling or about to fall, investors will liquidate their funds in the stock market and dump them into mortgage-backed securities. That increased demand in mortgage-backed securities causes the intrinsic value to go up, greater demand, greater value, and then rates go down. So what happened over COVID, I'll zoom out real quick, is you'll see that the value of mortgage-backed securities was through the roof. The government was buying bonds to help stimulate or increase the value of the, of the bonds in order to keep rates low, to keep at least one industry thriving in COVID with those low rates, encourage people to still buy houses, refinance. It fueled an entire industry. So now as you look at what's been going on, inflation continues to pull on the value of bonds and makes them less valuable. But recently, we've been seeing a rally where the value has increased as some people are starting to predict that bonds have bottomed out. Or we've, we've hit that tipping point where now that the Fed is not so um, intensely investing in bonds, that the value will has stabilized and now it's regaining its intrinsic value without the Fed being involved. One other element that we want to talk about is housing. So a curious statistic that came out over the last 12 months was that yes, there was a significant number of new homes being built or new homes started, 1.7 in fact, 400,000 of those homes were not completed and 100,000 homes approximately per year are destroyed. Meanwhile, there were 1.4 million new households formed. So over the last 12 months, we are at a net decrease in available housing. The other thing I wanted to comment on was housing new home sales month over month and then year over year. So month over month, new house, new home sales are down 16.6%. And then year over year, it's down over 20%. Why? Why is new home sales down with inventory so low? Builders are building like crazy. What's going on? Ultimately, what it comes down to is uncertainty. If buyers are uncertain about a 12-month horizon for a new home purchase, they're nervous about the rate going up, maybe extended locks are not available. Fairway, by the way, does offer up to a 360-day extended lock option for clients. But that uncertainty, who knows what your life is going to look like in 12 months, that is our prediction as to why uh, new home sales has decreased. So here's a quick teaser for what's going on in the market, where we think things are heading in the short term.